about the upcoming Spain trips. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How about yourself? I'm doing good. So what other places are you planning on visiting other than Spain? Uh, this time I decided to extend my trips. Usually I do them only to Spain, but this time I decided to give the students a little bit more of a broader view of Europe. So I'm including Spain, France, and Italy. Okay, and is there any specific reason why you're choosing all of three of those places? Well, like I said, first of all, I used to do Spain because I'm a Spanish teacher and I wanted to give the students a, a feel of what it is to be in a country other than the United States and more specifically a country that speaks the language that I teach, which is Spanish. But then again, I just wanted to add a little bit something else so that while we're in Europe, we can see more than just Spain. Okay. And is it just you who decides the destinations or are there other people involved? It's me. Um, it's usually only just me because I am the group leader. I am the person in charge of these tours and I'm the one that gets to choose from an array of different trips. Um, usually the company that I choose, uh, which is called EF Education, um, they have a set of trips already laid out and I just go and choose the one that I think it's the most convenient for my students. Sounds nice. Um, what are you expecting for the students to learn? I'm expecting them to get first-hand experience. I know there's a lot of Spanish around in the area here, but it's not the same to just hear it and to be in a country like completely immersed in a language. Mm -hmm. um, and also I want them to get uh, the experience of traveling. A lot of students in our sound don't really get out much. So for a lot of students that travel with me, this is not even just their first trip, first trip, but it's also like the first time away from home, the first time overseas. So it's like I'm trying to give the students an opportunity to do things that maybe otherwise they wouldn't be able to do yeah. on their own. Um, are there any specific cultures that you're just trying to focus on or? Definitely the Spanish culture because um, of the language that I teach, Spanish. Um, they will be hopefully practicing some of their Spanish. Um, and it's always good to learn about other cult cultures as well. So, you know, before we travel, I will be making sure that they knew a little bit here and there about the two other cultures. So the French culture and the Italian culture. Okay. And is this your first trip with the students or is this like one of your many trips? This is um, going, well, this trip is set for June of 2017. Um, so two summers from now, that will be my trip third trip as a leader by then. My first trip, I traveled as a chaperone uh, with the French department, so the French teacher. So then I decided to do my own trips to Spain. I've already done actually two trips to Spain. Um, this summer, I did my second trip. Summer of 2016, I am doing a trip to Costa Rica. And then summer of 2017, and I'm, doing, I'm going back to Europe with Spain, France, and Italy. Okay. And what was your favorite destination out of all of those? I have to say that I love Spain in general. Um, most of the cities that we visit in Spain are amazing. Um, Granada is one of my favorites. I love Seville, Madrid, Barcelona. I really couldn't tell you just one. Um, I've previously visited uh, France, but only like the north of France and Paris. My trip only includes the south of France, and it's basically just a brief stop in the Riviera, French Riviera, and then we move on to um, Italy. I've been in Rome before, and I love it. It's also a wonderful city. I'm just a person who loves to travel on a personal level, so I think every place is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so what are some activities that you're planning on doing during this trip? It depends on the cities. Uh, for example, in Spain, we're visiting like the different monuments, the different landmarks that are specific and important in every city. For example, in Barcelona, we're visiting the, um, the Palacio Real, which is the, the house of the king and queen, uh, or the palace, the royal palace. We're visiting museums, cathedrals. Same thing in Barcelona. We have parks and things that are like the landmarks. The Sagrada Familia is one of the main um, landmarks in Spain. From there, we're going to France to see the Riviera. I've never been there, so I'm not really too sure what to expect. Um, in Italy, we're expecting to see the Tower of uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and I'm very excited about that. I've actually never been there, so I think the students are also going to be very excited to go there. And then we'll finally end up in um, Rome, and in Rome, we'll see things such as the Colosseum, um, the Roman ruins, and things like that. Okay. And how does a student find out more information or sign up for the trip? 
Um, I do have a trip website, and I think I have it memorized. <laughs> um, you go to www.eftours.com forward slash 1804358, capital letter H, capital letter A. Uh, that's the trip website, and it gives you the tour the, the, um, I'm sorry, the tour dates. So this trip is expected to happen in June of 2017, and the specific dates are more or less June 22nd to July 3rd of 2017. On this website, you can find more information. You can find the exact itinerary of the things that will um, be included in the trip. You can find everything else, not, not only the itinerary, but everything that will be covered. And then you also find the price. This is the website where you actually sign up as well. At the bottom of the website, after it's given you all the information, it provides a link. It's a pink link that says enroll now. So you just click on the button and you follow the prompts and that's where you enroll. Do you know how much it is right now to sign yes. up? Yes, um, right now it is, since we are so far ahead, we are basically a year and a half away from the trip. It, it's considered an early registration. So right now there's a $200 discount going on until the end of December. Uh, the price right now is uh, a little bit over $3,600. Uh, three trips to Europe are a little bit expensive because of, um, you know, it's Europe and Europe it's usually expensive regardless. But not only that, you get everything included, flights, um, hotel accommodations, transportation, meals, entrances to everything, and it's a 12-day tour. Mm -hmm. So the price includes all of that. And is this just for students that are taking Spanish or in a specific grade, or is it everyone? No, I'm, I'm actually, I decided to open, the, my first trip, since I wasn't sure how everything would go, um, I did keep it, uh, I narrowed it down to only the Spanish students. But now that I'm more comfortable with the trips and the company and how the, you know, everything is handled, um, I decided to open it up to basically anybody who is interested. I'm basically, um, hoping, uh, since I am open it up to everybody, I ju I'm just hoping that students who are responsible enough to be, you know, sent to a foreign country without adult supervision, meaning, I mean, I will be the adult superv supervisor, but without parental supervision, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm happy to take anybody who thinks they can be responsible for themselves and they don't have to even speak Spanish. Um, if you take Spanish, that's a plus. If you don't take Spanish, it's not absolutely necessary because um, the guides and the tours are usually led in English. Not everybody speaks the language of the countries that we visit. So uh, mostly all the tour, the guided tours are done in English. So everybody's welcome, whether they take Spanish or not. Okay, and are you the only teacher or supervisor going or is there more teachers? There will be more. And the number of chaperones that come depends on the number of students who sign up. Uh, the company works on a six to one ratio. So for every six students, we have a chaperone. Um, I am the lead person, the lead, um, the, the guide of, or the trip leader is what it's called. That's my title. And uh, depending on how many students sign up, as of now, I don't have any students signed up. I just started the promotion of the trip. So depending on how many students sign up, I will know how many chaperones get to go. But that's a ratio, six to one. Okay. And are there any meetings coming up for parents or anybody else that just would like more information? Yes, uh, absolutely. I have a trip coming up on Tuesday, November 17th at 6 p.m. in my classroom. It's room 120. Um, and this is basically an informational meeting. So a lot of the information that I've just given you and more detailed information will be shared with both the students and the parents. And a lot of times parents have questions or concerns. Um, that's the time like to ask me all those questions and for me to answer okay. them. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, just uh, some people wonder why I do it. And I do it uh, because I had an opportunity to do a trip like this when I was in college. I didn't have this opportunity in high school. Um, I had the opportunity to do it in college, and it was just a, a, an amazing experience. And since I had that opportunity, now I know that there's more to see than just my little place at home. So it opened my eyes to not only different cultures, but like to the world in general. So I'm hoping to, to transmit that love of, of, you know, traveling and being more accepting of other cultures and places. And then again, also with the Spanish, uh, 
students get really excited when they get to use their Spanish outside of the classroom also. So a little bit of everything. It's mm -hmm. just a very exciting trip. It's educational. Um, they're absolutely safe. A lot of parents are concerned to send their kids away um, on their own, but it is a very safe company. Again, this, this will be my third trip coming up, so I can tell you that they're very safe. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Samantha here talking to Ms. Torres about the upcoming Spain trips. Now back to our hosts. 